Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today's gonna be a Sephora haul video. So there was this spring saving event in Sephora. I did a, do a little bit of shopping. I did like maybe three sweeps, twice in store and then one online. I'm just really excited to show you what I got. The first thing I got was the Victor and Rolf Bonbon Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum? I'm not sure if I said it right. Eau de Parfum. This is a fragrance that I've been using so much. I actually have a bunch of these tiny ones. I wanted to get this because I wanted to make sure that I liked it before I invested in the big thing. It's funny, it kind of matches my outfit today. I've never owned a full-size perfume before, so this is a big moment for me, okay? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! So here it is. Oh my gosh. I found out about this perfume from Kathleen Lights, and it's so pretty. So here's the baby, and this is the mommy. Baby and mommy together so cute mm, I love these so the next things I got were travel size items this is the Ilia mascaras I actually did a comparison today I put the limitless lash on one side the full fullest the, the fullest volume on the other side I wore it throughout the day and I do have some thoughts they seem to have the same formula but they are very different ones next I did buy a bunch of these this is the Sephora crayon lip liner to go the Sephora brand actually had like 30% off on top of whatever tier you are in for the Sephora event so I did get these for a good discount so I have both nude beige and deep beige and then the lip liners that I absolutely love I love the formula more than those ones and since these ones, you don't have to sharpen these. These are super creamy. These are the Contour Gel Rouge Lip Liners. And I have the shade The Red and the shade Nothing But Nude. I did have Silk or Suede and The Nudist. But they were too gray on me and I didn't like that. So I had to return those and I replaced them with these two. And I'm very happy about these two. This is the Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Rescue Facial Spray. I do like this. I don't really see a difference when I wear this or when I don't because my skin is oily combo. And now that summer is coming, it seems to be more oily i did get the rare beauty pinched liquid blush in the shade happy and i'll be inserting clips here it was nice but it was just too cool toned and i really wanted a shade hope or encourage but th those were sold out for 26 bucks and a whole bottle happy was just not something i would be happy with i decided to return that another tower 28 beach please um, blush in magic hour i really like this blush it is a very nice warm peach it's funny because i didn't know that they were high end because of the packaging i thought this was more like drug story but it was like 24 dollars for a small blush but it does last a nice decent time especially if you don't wear a mask if you wear a mask it does tend to rub away um the rare beauty one not so much and that's why i wanted the rare beauty one but yeah this is really nice blush i do really enjoy this color another buy is the anastasia beverly hill beverly hills dip brow gel this, I've been using it for a while, I do not like it. When you put it on your brows, it's just boom, it's there. It's all just gel. It would have been better if I got the clear version of this. But I really wanted to see this against the NYX Thick It Stick It. To be honest, I prefer the NYX Thick It Stick It. I'm just really disappointed in this because I thought, you know, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. They make brow products and this was not something I enjoyed to use. Next is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Ugh. I always get like the tiny one and I've gone through like five of those and I finally caved and bought the big mother load, the mama. I use this every single night without fail and i honest to god i tell you my lips have not been happier i literally finished the video and i forgot all about this this is the wow dream coat i did find out about this from a youtuber they were talking about how this is great for like frizz and i am a frizz queen so this morning i actually tried this out and to be honest i feel like there was a difference i definitely feel like there was this less fridge for sure and I'm pretty excited to, to, to use this more. My last purchase, which was an online purchase, 
was the Kayali miniature set of all of their, their most of their fragrances. I am a big perfume girl and I love vanilla. I love something like I love those delicious scents and I wanted to get vanilla 28 for the longest time. When I found out that they had this set, I got it and they have Sweet Diamonds, Vanilla 28, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa and Deja Vu White Flower. I wore Vanilla 28 today and I just kept smelling vanilla all day and I was just like mmm it smells so good. I also got Juicy Apple samples. Oh my gosh the Kayali Juicy Apple. I will definitely get a bottle of that. My sister's in love with it. I'm in love with it. It smells like apples. Like whatever they say on the bottle smells like that. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!